Lake Kivu is one of Africa's great rift lakes. It lies on the border between the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Rwanda. But Lake Kivu is no ordinary lake. Deep down, it contains a massive accumulation of dissolved methane and carbon dioxide. This is due to Lake Kivu's proximity to Mount Hira Gongo and volcanic activity over a thousand years. If triggered, the area could see a limnic eruption which would cause a huge explosion of gas from the deep waters to the surface, resulting in large waves and a poisonous gas cloud. It would put more than 2 million lives at risk. This is why experts are calling Lake Kivu the killer lake. But Lake Kivu also holds a lot of promise. It presents an opportunity to tap these gases to generate energy. In the middle of Lake Kivu lies a floating power plant set by Kivu Watt, a company that extracts gas from the lake's waters for electricity. It is the only project of its kind anywhere in the world. The facility pumps water saturated with carbon dioxide and methane from around 350 meters to the surface. As it rises, the water and gas separate as the pressure changes. The extracted methane is sent through a pipeline to a second facility located onshore in Rwanda where the gas is transformed into electricity. The carbon dioxide is pumped back into the lake at a specific depth to ensure the delicate balance is not upset. The company says it hopes that removing methane over time could reduce pressure within the lake and possibly lower the risk of a limnic eruption. Engineers say Kivu Watt is five to six times less polluting in terms of carbon emission than a traditional or conventional power plant. Therefore, even after burning the gas, it is still considered a clean source of energy. Experts say it will take centuries to reduce the toxic gas from the lake. But even today, many live in fear of the lake's harmful potential.